Hello and welcome. In this video, we talk about how I set up uh, email automation for my site projects using this tool called NA10. We will be talking about what NA10 is, why this instead of uh, using something like convert kits automations or mailer lights automations, and what is the cost of running for this complete thing, and how it works, the walkthrough of the setup of I have here. First, what is NA10? So this is an automation tool like Zapier, which lets you create flows or workflows as they call it. And you can like run them or trigger them on a webhook or on a cron basis or just by going to the app and then executing the workflow. You might ask why this instead of a traditional uh, campaign sender tool like ConvertKit or MailerLite, which has automations. The main reason for me is customization. So you, I can customize this workflow as I want. And, and if there is no pre-built uh, step, then I can write code, write JavaScript code to support the workflow. For the setup that I have now, it doesn't cost me anything. That's because I run it on an app which runs on my MacBook. So they have two types of pricing. One is the cloud where you pay $20 per month and they give you 5,000 workflow executions. And if it is on a desktop, it's free. Or I can also self host this on something like, um, something like railway or, or an EC2 instance from AWS or something like that. Uh, right now I am, I have it uh, running on my laptop. I run this on a laptop because this flow is not business critical. For example, even if it is, uh, if I shut down the laptop, this will not run. And I am okay with that because this runs on an hourly basis. And if someone misses the email, they'll get their email in the next run when the laptop is finally up. I rarely shut down the laptop, which might be the case with you as well. So running it on a app here locally is completely fine for my use case. If, it, if your use case is something critical and needs to be up always, you can choose to pay $20 or run it on a self hosted instance in the cloud. Let's get to how this works. So I have a email flow. I call this welcome email, which runs every hour. What happens is whenever someone signs up to my side project, stack blocks for instance they are added to a table in the notion so this will be user at example.com they will be added and this field is automatically filled because of it, the table i'm using notion here but it will work with any tool like this uh, like a table or google sheets or anything and what these steps do is it runs every hour and in the notion it goes to a database uh, called stack block users, but I have not, uh, I've changed it so that I can mask the emails. I don't want to expose the emails. So I, I have a credential, which is a notion integration. And then I create a new credential using that integration. So it knows what all, uh, what all databases I have access to, or the bot has access to, and then it will, it will automatically populate. And I, I check this property called welcome email sent because that is checked if the welcome email is already sent and then I get the emails for the users and then the result of this goes to split in batches split in batches is a is a step that can be used to run the preceding steps uh, recursively. So now I have uh, I run these steps recurs recursively for all the rows that have been fetched from the notion here and send email is just a email sending step, which is configured using SMTP. I use Mailgun to send the email. So I have a SMTP credentials that are configured to this step. This to email is populated from the previous node, which is like coming from notion and then the subject and some text. I also have HTML as the body for the email. And when I execute this node or when this node gets executed, the email is sent. And after that, uh, this row is marked as sent. 
so after this email is executed there will be a checkbox here so that next time in the next hour when the flow runs again it will not fetch this because it has already sent the welcome email and this if is used to just go back to the split in batches and then execute it again if if there are more rows that are needed to get executed you may ask i am a developer and could i not write the whole thing down as in code because notion has a great developer uh, documentation and i can use javascript to do all this yeah that that can be done but the reason for this na10 is i can host it locally run it locally on my laptop and i can trigger it on cron basis which is very easy to do and i have i have a sev i have several things or several workflows and i have all of them in the central place and things are easier to do here for example if i add a notion step then i can select a credential and if i use a database page and op an option to get stuff from the database okay and it will give me the pages that i have access to or the databases that i have access to so things like these make uh make the development easier so i can also add filters where i can add a condition and it will it will tell me what rows are here on this table and i can choose uh, stuff like this and the past week so this gets me the, all the users who have joined in the past week and i can tell them and i can send an email uh, for example to notify that the trail is going to end if the user has already upgraded their plan i can also filter them uh, based on that and then and send emails accordingly that is all for this video do leave a comment if you want me to uh, expand on anything or if you would like to see me building stuff with an a10 then probably i can turn on recording from the next time and set up the workflows thanks for watching and have a good day